Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. So this one's going to be a little different. Today I'm going to be building a gaming PC slash editing PC all white. So I just wanted to kind of take you guys along. It's the same case as my computer I have now, except this one's going to be all white with RGB and this be a 1080p gaming console and editing videos editing and stuff like that so um my buddy steven's looking for a computer and so yeah this is a 500 hundred dollar build i still have to go get a monitor i'm trading a windows it's a toshiba laptop that had windows 8 and i put windows 11 on it it's in this box and uh so i'm trading that for a 32 inch curved white samsung monitor that doesn't have the power cord i've already purchased the power cord for 13 dollars on ebay it should be here on wednesday so once the power cord comes in i'm gonna go out there to edmund plug it in with the power cord make sure the tv works and if it does i'm gonna trade him the laptop so he'll be happy he'll get a windows 11 laptop and i'll get the monitor that's gonna match this so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dig on in this and I'll give you guys another update. All right, and so I've got it out of the box So I've already Already pre-installed this and got the fans on and got all that in previously. So CPU cooler is ready to go So now I've just got to get the motherboard opened up and get the processor installed and the uh, M.2 SSD and the RAM and the uh, CMOS battery got a brand new one so yeah next thing's gonna be getting the motherboard set up so I'm gonna get the motherboard open and get the glass off and I'll come back right, so we got the IO shield SATA cable we got the uh, x99 motherboard so i'm gonna have to take off that plastic piece because i'll be using the water cooler so i shut this box set the motherboard on top all right i'm gonna get this opened up all right so i got the motherboard out I gotta get the Phillips. Oh, don't even have to get the Phillips. I can just remove this. Awesome. Sweet. I can just remove this cooler altogether. All right. I need to install the CPU. And the M.2 SSD. I have a cooler I ordered for this, but it's still not here yet. But I can always add that on later. Then I need to get one of the CMOS batteries installed before I install the motherboard. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and get the CPU installed and the SSD installed. All right, guys, so there we go. I got the CPU installed. So this I went with the Intel Xeon E5 2680. It's a 2.5 gigahertz, uh, 12 core, 30 megabytes cache Intel Xeon. And my buddy Noah looked it looked this processor up, and he said this is like stands right with the the i7. So this processor was like six or seven dollars on ebay this motherboard was like about 70 on ebay and yeah so really not bad so uh now i've got the the processor installed now i can install the m.2 ssd and this is preloaded with windows 11 on it already so Nice. Western Digital. Awesome. I think this is a 256 gig. Yeah, 256 gig. 
and so all right i'm going to go ahead and get this in it just slots in at a 45 degree angle in the slot there and then you push it down and it's going to screw down with this screw so i'm going to need my little phillips screwdriver here in just a minute i'm going to go ahead and get this out that slotted in yeah i'm gonna have to unscrew that screw all right just a sec so, all right so i've got the batteries open got my cmos battery in there ssd is installed so now i want to move on to the ram so for this this x99 motherboard maxes out at 128 gig of ram so that's what i got i got four 32 gig sticks it's server ram 14900 uh but i don't know i I messaged the seller of the motherboard and of the RAM and sent them screenshots of each other. Both sellers said that they are compatible and they will work. So that's what I got. It should pair with this perfectly. And this thing should be able to do pretty much anything you want to throw at it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this RAM opened up. Get it on the board. Then I can get the IO shield installed. And then we can go ahead and get the motherboard mounted in the case. Alright you guys. I just got... All the RAM installed, 64 gig on each side, be two banks. So next I'm going to get the IO shield installed. Got to bend this tab out of the way. That's for the Ethernet port right there. So yeah, if I don't bend that out of the way, it'll cover that. So you just got to bend it in, bend it up. It'll sit on top. It'll be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get this IO shield installed. And then we can install the motherboard. Alright you guys, so I turned the case over on its back side. So that I could get the motherboard all lined up with the rear I.O. shield. And I wanted to make sure that all the little standoffs that come in the case were in the correct spots. And they are. All six of them are perfect. So uh, the case came with all these little screws. So... And dump these out. I've already opened them. Okay. So the ones we're looking for are like this with the little lip. So I need six of these. Three, four, five, six. Awesome. And then I got my Phillips right here. So now I can take my six phillips screws and put one in each of these holes get the motherboard screwed down and then i can unwrap this cooler and get some thermal paste on the processor and then we'll get the cooler mounted to the processor on the motherboard and this thing will really start coming together looking like a, a computer so <clears throat> all right i'm gonna go ahead and get this thermal paste on here or get this motherboard screwed down then get the thermal paste on and i'll give you guys another update all right guys and just like that she's mounted in there not going nowhere so next thing i'm gonna be doing i guess is getting this uh cooler unwrapped i'll get some thermal paste on the cpu use a little spreader to spread it around and make sure it's covered because i've i've heard that these run really hot and they do okay with the big beefy air cooler with like a 120 mil fan or maybe two 120 mil fans. But I decided to go all out and get this uh, 360 mil AIO. And it's all full RGB. The hoses are RGB. The uh, actual pump itself that mounts to the CPU is RGB so like everything about it's RGB along with all the other RGB fans the little cooler that I got for the uh, M.2 is RGB and yeah it's just everything's gonna be white with RGB so it's gonna look really good when it's done so I'm gonna I guess go ahead and open up this thermal paste and start getting this on the processor so we can get this unwrapped and get it set on there then I got the screws for it right here and we'll get this uh, AIO installed on the processor and get this thing looking like a computer. 
All right, so guys, so I normally don't use the little spreader tool, but since these run really hot, I wanted to make sure there was plenty on there. So I just used that whole little tube, spread it all around with the spreader. I went ahead and got the cooler all undone. I've already had got the brackets attached for it. So just do not forget to pull the plastic off before you install it because if you don't pull the plastic off it's not going to dissipate heat and it's going to overheat and your computer is going to shut off so yeah don't forget to peel that little sticker off and then we can line it up get it set on there and then start getting the screws screwed in and that will hold it in place all right you guys well i ran into an issue so i've got three of them on it's lined up looks great but now because I already have the cooler installed, now I can't get to the last one. So I'm going to have to unscrew the six screws on the motherboard to slide it over so I can lift the hoses up so I can get to the last screw down in there. You can see it. It's just like it needs to go underneath the hose. I just I can't get it there. If you look where that one's at, you can see it, it needs to be right under that hose. So, this one, it's already stretched out to its max. I don't want to put any strain on it. I don't want to fuck up the fitting. don't want it to leak. So, I'm just going to unscrew the six screws, slide the motherboard over. I'll be able to lift these up, get the screw in, get them all tight, and then I can just reinstall the motherboard. All right, you guys. So, now I've got the motherboard back reinstalled. It's back screwed down. I'm probably going to loosen these two screws and this one up here. Just so I can kind of lift the motherboard a little because I'm going to put the cable extensions through. Actually, I might just loop them through over here. That way you can actually see the cable extensions. But I got one up here at the top, the 8 pin, and I got the 24 pin there. And then they'll plug into the power supply in the back. And this does have a 850 watt black power supply. I tried to find a white one and they're just so dang expensive and i bid on like two or three different ones on ebay and i kept getting outbid and the price was just going ridiculous for them and so i ended up picking up this black one and it's plenty of power for what this is and for the graphics card it's a rx 580 it says it needs a 500 watt power supply and then this is like 110 watt or 130 watt processor so yeah, this should be plenty of power to run the system with all the RGB. So yeah, now I can stand this thing up and start routing all these RGB cables and the fan cables. And uh, yeah, start getting the uh, cable extensions on and getting everything hooked up to the power supply and to the fan controller that's in the back. And... Yeah, so I'm going to get this thing stood up on its feet, and I'll come back. Alright, you guys, well, I got a little bit carried away, and I was doing these cable extensions, and the cable combs, and then after I got those done, I just started running them and plugging stuff in, and I got the, uh, the riser cable installed, and it runs down here to the GPU, got the GPU unboxed, and got it set in here, and... I ordered the bracket because see the how flimsy this is like it is bolted in and you can hook it up and it's, it'll work and it'll stay like that but I got a bracket that's gonna bolt in here and it lets this riser cable piece bolt to the bracket and it's just gonna keep it held in place so it doesn't move around like this but yeah that's all I got left is a uh, the power plug for the GPU and then I just gotta finish tidying up all the cables in the back um, I've got my uh, pump is plugged in here and then I have one more fan plug up here in the top left so if you come around to the back side I got this little fan hub so all the fans are routed plugging into this hub and then this one black wire here goes from the hub and it's going to go right there onto that fan port. 
And so that one fan port there is going to power pretty much all the fans off this little hub. And they're all bunched up together there. And then there's all the RGB right there. And yeah, so that's uh, this how it's going to be. And so this is a peel and stick. So I'm going to peel and stick it right there on top of the hard drive caddy. And run this wire. And then get it plugged into the motherboard. And then other than this GPU power, which is, I'm having a hard time getting it to plug in. I'm not for sure what the deal is with it, why it's not wanting to line up. But, uh, that's, the, that's my only issue I have is getting the power cord to plug into the GPU. If that's the only problem I have, I can always just unplug this, uh, cable extension I know it looks nice and it's white and everything but I can always unplug it just run the cable in and plug it in for now to at least power it but man this thing looks so nice this thing looks so good now all I gotta do is just get that GPU power and everything else is plugged in I've got my USB 3.0 got the sound got USB got the power reset and the LED lights are plugged in. Like I said, the pump's plugged in. So everything is plugged in and ran. The only thing, like I said, the only thing that's left is just these, uh, all these fans. So, yeah, I'm really happy with the progress. So, uh, so y'all stay tuned and I'll give you guys another update. Alright, you guys, so I'm on into the back doing some cable management. I'm using a lot of the little twist ties that came in the uh, cooler box. They're, I got a lot of them and they're all white. And I went ahead and stuck down this fan hub. It's a tin, tin fan, fan hub. It's powered by Molex. And then it gets the signal from one fan plug on the motherboard. And then it gives pretty much an extra nine so you get the red one as your main and then you get nine more that run off the molex but gets its signal from the four pin on the motherboard well, yeah this is all looking really really good everything's coming together i'm pretty sure i've got all the fans plugged in all of the rgb plugged in i've got the um pump on the radiator pump is plugged in so the only thing that's not plugged in right now is the gpu power cord and then i'm just waiting for the bracket for that vertical mount but man this thing looks great very happy with it so now i'm going to grab this rear back panel i'm going to go ahead and put that on and then i'm going to grab the glass panel Turn this around and get the glass panel on the front side. Just so we're not getting any dust in it or anything. And then I'm going to take that plastic bag that came on it. And cover it back up. Just because this is a brand new build. And I don't want to get any crap in it. So. This thing is looking great. I'm very happy with it. I cannot wait to get this thing hooked up over here. To the TV. And see how this thing runs see what it looks like with all the rgb and just see how well it does like i'm very excited for this so i guess uh, that's gonna be it for tonight though so i guess uh i will catch you guys tomorrow all right you guys so i've got it everything hooked up my gpu power cord for whatever reason these bottom notches see some of them are squared and some of them have rounded at the bottom. And the top ones are the same way. Well, for whatever reason, if you compare it to this. See, this one has like a square in the bottom corner. And then rounded on the top. And then both of those are rounded. That bottom one's rounded. The top one's squared. And if you compare it to this one. Let's see. See if I can get them side by side. But if you compare it. This one. 
right here is squared and the one on the actual power cord is rounded and then this bottom right one here is squared and that one's rounded and then this top one is rounded and the top one on this one is squared so uh, it's it's weird for whatever reason i guess this is only the eight pin like this one that goes into the motherboard power and so this is just the wrong cable so i've ordered another one it was like eleven dollars on ebay just for one for the gpu only so that's going to be another few days to a week before that gets here so for now i just plugged it in with the actual power supply it doesn't look as nice you can see the black and yellow wires so eventually it will have another white cable like this one but for now just to test it out i went ahead and just plugged it in this way uh so yeah so i just wanted to show you guys what she looks like bam All right, so where are we go. No video. Riser cable seated. Ram slots are closed. Now well, we got the fans are spinning. It's not outputting video. And the speaker's not beeping or nothing, so it shouldn't be a RAM error. Well, now I gotta figure out why it's not outputting video. Man, that looks so awesome. The white really does it a lot of justice. I really like the all white. I think it looks so good. I'm still waiting on the actual bracket for this. So, can't wait for that stuff to get here. The new white cable so I can clean that up. I guess now I'm going to have to go through and troubleshoot. And, uh, I guess I can try to swap out some RAM. See maybe if it's the RAM. I'm, I'm not hearing it beep. Normally it would be beeping if uh, it had a RAM fault or a CPU fault. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on, why it's not outputting video. Uh, and then also on this USB 3 cable here, this black cable. So, I don't like how it sticks out like that. So, I ordered a 90 degree adapter that plugs in and goes straight down. So, this cord is going to be able to just come straight up and plug in like this. And then that will let this cord or this uh, ribbon cable lay flat and it'll make it look a lot nicer and cleaner instead of being all poked out like that it'll just come straight down and lay flat so that was like 10 bucks that's on the way um, and then I ordered some of these red cable extensions for my computer sitting over there because mine still have like the yellow and black and orange and red and different color cables and I just don't think it looks as good I think this looks super clean with the the white to match everything so with mine being black and red I think the red will match really nice so yeah and then uh, a couple of these rear panels I popped them out um, because at first I had plugged this in onto the motherboard and you know because I was still waiting for the bracket and I didn't realize I could still just mount it straight to it like this it would just be floppy so I'm gonna have to get a couple of white covers to go in there and they'll screw down right there so those will get covered back up before it actually gets sold or anything um, but yeah right now I just gotta try to focus on getting it to work and output video so yeah this really sucks because i've got 500 dollars sitting here 
in this uh, computer and now I've bought three or four more things for it so really it's over $500 now and I still have to go trade a laptop for the monitor that goes with it and if the computer is not even booting and working then man I, know, I have until Wednesday the power cord for the monitor will be here Wednesday and then I can go meet up make sure the monitor works and if it does and there's no cracks or lines in the screen or nothing then I'm going to trade the laptop for the monitor but I just wanted to give you guys a little update it is the next day so I've kind of been messing with this a little bit trying to just make sure everything's 100% good mess with some more wiring in the back and uh, yeah I had to mess with some of the wiring for the lights like these fans originally were working when I plugged it in and tried to power it on the first time the fans were working but the lights weren't and the lights in this weren't the pump was but the lights weren't and so I had to mess with swap some plugs around and stuff to get the lights to work for the cooler but now everything's working and it looks good the only thing I don't like is it looks like the white on this is just a little bit different here let me turn off yeah there we go I don't know if you can tell but the the shade of white is a little bit different but overall I like it I think it looks really good this thing looks sick it's super bright especially on camera but all right I just want to give you guys a little update on it let you guys see the progress and see what it looks like all powered on so now I've just got to figure out the uh the video output. I don't know. It could be something with the RAM. It could be something with the processor. Um, I mean, it could be something with the graphics card, but I really don't think so. It could be. Uh, well, I thought originally that it might have been the uh, the riser cable could be bad. So that's again why I slotted it straight on the motherboard to test it, and it still does the same thing. And I don't believe it to be a RAM error or else it would be beeping uncontrollably. So I'm thinking maybe it's something with the processor or yeah, I don't even, it's got to be something with the processor. That's the only other thing I could think of. So I'm going to get on eBay. I'm going to contact the seller of this processor and just send them a message, see what they say. And uh, I'm also going to send the seller of the motherboard a message to see if this processor is compatible with this motherboard just because on the listing it only shows like five or six processors they are still the intel xeon and there's like the intel xeon 2667 and the 2666 and the 2676 and 2678 and the 2696 or something like that and then I got the 2680 so the processor that I have in here is not listed in the listing as compatible with this motherboard but if it has the 76 and the 78 and the 96 then why wouldn't the 80 be compatible it's in between those so I don't know I mean it, it could be this processor I'm not for sure so but yeah, I guess uh, I guess that's going to be it for now, and I will give you guys another update once all these other parts that I have ordered for it come in, and then uh, I'll pick up where I left off.
Hey guys, alright, so it's been a few days. Uh, finally got the three pack of fans. I was only able to install two of them because that riser cable sits like right next to the fan. But I was able to get two of them in there, so I'm just going to include this one with it. But now everything is all together. All the fans are in there. I got my little 90s, so now the riser cable isn't all poked out like it was before. And yeah, she's running great, doing installing updates right now. I had one update and it works great. I like it. Got the, the monitor, was able finally able to go trade the laptop for the monitor and took the power cord with me, plugged it in, came right on, works perfect. It does have a couple little stress cracks in the corners. And that one, this side's okay, but I like the curve. It's definitely different than, like, say the TV over there, but I like it. It, it definitely goes well with the computer and the keyboard, like, with everything being white. It matches very well. I'm really happy with it, so... Here we go, there's the specs. Oh. Active. So, this thing's doing great. I'm really happy with it. And then, uh, let's go into Hardware Manager. Or hardware monitor. We'll go look at the temps. So we've got 32 degrees Celsius. That's really cool. These run really hot. Uh, these Xeon processors. So by going with the 360 mil AIO water cooler instead of just a traditional air cooler. Like with the traditional air cooler, these Xeons run like 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. So that's like a 20 degree, 30 degree difference. That's huge just by running a water cooler. So very happy with that. You see all 12 cores. There's the RAM running 39, 40 degrees, 41 degrees. That's the one terabyte hard drive. It does have quite a bit of hours on it but it's still 100% functional and then there's the M.2 SSD 16 hours 61 power cycles and then the graphics card RX 580 running 30 degrees Celsius so that is the build um, this is only a 60 Hertz monitor so I mean, yeah, it's not really going to draw anything from the graphics card. It runs like 64, 65 frames per second on asphalt. And uh, that's all I've played on it so far with this monitor. Um, it's definitely different with the curve looking at the screen and stuff. But I like it. I'm getting used to it. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the setup. I did find another graphics card I might get and pick up and swap out it is uh, also a white rx 588 gig but it has rgb fans on it and i'm building this computer up here it's a uh, ryzen 5 2600 with the b450 motherboard and 16 gig of ram and i got this asus graphics card for 30 bucks off marketplace and it was supposed to the kid told me it was an 8 gig but it's actually only a 2 gig so that's definitely not going to work so I was looking at another RX 588 gig and I came across the one with the RGB fans. So I'm thinking about buying that, putting that one in here and then taking this one and then uh, I can just take the shroud and paint it like black or blue because this has blue fans and so it's going to be a black and blue build. So I can always just paint the, the bezel and stuff black or blue or whatever. 
<clears throat> and it's also going to be a vertical mount graphics card. So that's coming. I'm still waiting on the processor and a few other things for it. And that, that one will be coming soon. But yeah, this thing is looking great. It performs well. I'm really happy with it. The monitor really ties everything together. And yeah, I'm happy. So that's going to be it for the uh, all-white custom RGB. It's like about 650 bucks with everything so not bad for all brand new everything's new except for the monitor and yeah for all brand new build that's uh really not bad and this thing should play like pretty much any game at high to ultra settings 1080p and i mean like i said the monitor can really only do 60 frames 65 frames with the 60 hertz monitor but with the better monitor like with the 144 hertz or whatever 240 hertz monitor like yeah you could get 150 200 frames per second easy with this setup so yeah that's going to be it for this one so if you liked the this video i know it's a little different than cars but if you like the video leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of the computer build and i'll catch you guys in the next one